Hello guys, welcome to Digital Tech. Today in this video, I'm going to compare a SATA SSD with an M2 SSD. And as you can see, spot on the first difference is the size. But I made a video comparing an SSD, this particular SSD, with a HDD. And if you've not watched the video, uh, I'll attach the link to the video at the top right hand corner of this video. And um, please make sure you end up liking this video if you do like it and share it with your friends. So let's get started with our SATA SSD. So why is this called a SATA SSD? Because it uses the same interface with our normal HDD right here. And as you can see, the connectors are the same. We keep them side by side. So you see what i mean so as you can see they are using the same attachment type or adapter type which is the sata which is the serial advanced technology attachment as opposed to our m2 ssd right here by a data so why this why sata ssd well you need sata ssd if your computer did not come with an mvme slot or an M2 slot for your M2 SSD. This right here is the slot on this computer and as you can see, this strip right here. So you check if your computer doesn't support it, then you'll just have to buy the SATA SSD right here and slot it right into your HDD space. And it's going to run at a transmission rate of six gbps as you can see here this is the sata 3.0 but it has a theoretical transmission speed of up to 600 megabytes per second whereas in the case of our big boy right here or small but mighty right here this has a transmission rate of up to seven times this i don't know if maybe the size could also be seven times but the transmission rate of this boy right here is seven times this grandpa this was fast in the comparison with this this sata ssd trashed this hdd right here in this comparison you're going to see how this small but mighty will trash this sata ssd so m2 ssd is an ssd with m2 interface also known as the next generation form factor and gff it's a new generation interface standard that um, is targeted toward uh, ultrabooks because of the size and um, also it has a better transmission performance as i said m2 ssd which supports nvme um, protocol can be six times or seven times the speed of sata ssd right here it has a theoretical read write speed of up to 4 gigabyte per second as opposed to our SATA's 600 megabyte per second and also the power consumption the power consumption on this is almost three times less than this and also another advantage is that if you are lucky enough that your computer has a slot for this you can use it along with an additional storage right here so this is a one terabyte hard disk drive which i'll be using along with my nvme ssd right here so i'll slot this here and i'll slot this here this will be my drive for files for saving files and this i'll install operating system on this and be running my softwares on them whereas i store other files on this so total this being 256 gig and this being one terabyte i'll be having 1.25 gigabyte 1.25 terabyte watt storage on my laptop right here so let me not bore you with all the talks and specs let's jump right into the test and see how these two can compare 